quite often it's difficult to judge the name of the nagewaza being applied. With more research and development, new techniques may well emerge. However, the name will be chosen from one of the 67 throws, depending on the principle behind the technique used. Hi, this is Shadi. Today's video is a discussion regarding the nomenclature of techniques and with the development and the evolution of judo, obviously people are going to get very creative in how they throw their opponents. But nonetheless, if they fall within the principles of all the throws that were already laid out, we can actually give a name to a said throw. And also, there is a lot of them that have this mixture, but depending on what happens to uke, that's how we can define what a throw it is. So you can look like you can do it, you're doing a throw, but it actually can be something else. So first, I want to start with Hayato Kondo. He is an upcoming uh, young man, very talented, and I really hope to see him thrive. He has an amazing judo, and uh, he is very good with set, grip fighting, and he has a massive uh, ashibarai that he does, and it is just something to watch, and uh, he gets it very frequently, very much like Fabio, but I would say he is far more dominant in terms of gripping and how he takes down his opponents, so I really hope for a very good future for this uh, young talent. So um, here against Koga, I really have, I really hope they have a very good rivalry in the future uh, as they evolve both of them. So the technique that really stood out to me is this one. So it it's a side sumigeshi, but look at the leg that's not kicking; it's actually behind. So let's look at it again. It looks like a kanibasami almost, but He's only blocking one leg in the front and then uh, kicking. So um, this is your classical sumigeshi. Uh, however, he used the other leg to trap from behind. There is a side entry to sumigeshi. A lot of people do it. You've seen it all over the place, I'm sure. But the leg, the other leg, instead of being on the front, it's on the back. So he doesn't jump up and uh, injure someone, but rather he blocks. So he scissors the legs, but he finishes with a beautiful sumigashi from the side so here is shintaro explaining this side variation but if you were to look if you cr back step and then do it your leg would be from behind which makes it um, far less dangerous because kani basami's element of i would say destruction is really that jump and pinning that one leg but if you just drop to your back while pinning uh, much like capoeira but here it's only going onto one leg because the other has to kick the other from the inside so let's take a look at another example um, how he drops no jump now granted it didn't work here but you can see that koga was not so much in danger and that's uh, what matters the ending of this fight by the way look an ashibarai tsubame geishi followed by a massive Uchimata. I really hope they have a very beautiful rivalry in the future. They fought each other a few times, and uh, I, I wish them all the best, honestly. And uh, Koga being the son of the Olympic champion makes it even better. So now next is the Georgian Sutemi Waza that baffled uh, a lot of people um, recently. So here you see Lasha going from the back and then it looks like a sumigashi but we have to understand that these sacrificing techniques you can look like you're doing something but we have to look at uke now the fact that he throws backwards that automatically qualifies it as a tani otoshi so here for example these three techniques the the one performing the techniques looks like the same uh, posture wise and body wise but it's uke the direction where he falls it's actually what gives the name of the technique it's either one of those three so for example those sleeve katagruma that we're doing recently depending on the direction it can be one of those three and uh, kodokan has discussed this decades ago so the next one is uh, 
of course the world championship final we're gonna see it again but let's take a look at lasha one more time so he does a georgian grip goes to the back and then throws him backward blocking him from behind which looks like a lot like a tani otoshi but you see the leg at the end kicking as in sumigeshi but he's throwing him backwards and that's all that matters so um now let's take a look at the finals of the world championship uh, to me at first when i first saw it i was like this is yoko wakare look at how he flattens his body and uh, sacrifices himself but if we would look at the olympic champion how he falls he went backwards so tani otoshi can have a lot of variations it can be with a leg grab lacing the sleeve etc uh, kodokan has discussed this in the old dvd and it does not matter so if you do look like you're doing this technique but they're falling backwards it automatically qualifies it as a tani otoshi so what is happening here in today's judo at least is that we are detaching ourselves from the basic form it looks like we're going for a sep completely separate technique but the aim is for a classical technique like sumigeshi tani otoshi which are very much techniques that are done at any level basically and yet here you see the form of how you do it can be very deceptive which is the goal of this whole strategy and um, here you can see that it has took judo to another level now we're debating the name of the technique uh, again this whole thing with uh, tasoyev that happened uh, IJF presented the wrong argument, or we cannot name it, therefore it's not a score. No, you should see whether Rene was thrown or not, and that was the whole goal, and in my opinion, he was just rolled over, but that's another debate for another day. So, this is how you see judo evolving in those little details. However, another thing that it is important is that judo evolving also in the world of grip fighting grip fighting is very detailed and you have to be a judoka to only know this or to know this but uh, other than that it's it's really about uh, making it evolve in those little details how you look like you're doing a technique but then you're going for another one or your form looks like you're doing set technique but the way uke goes that gives it another name and so uh, it's a very good debate to have and a discussion and see how judo evolves in those little uh, invisible corners so if you have anything to add please let me know down below this was shady and as always thank you for listening